We are at Postuzit here in Stockholm uh, for the 2023 Biostock Investor Meeting, and I'm joined by the CEO of Agitech, Bjorn Klem. Welcome, Bjorn. Pleased to be here. It's good to have you here. Um, let's start with the basics. Uh, what is Agitech? What do you do exactly? Uh, Agitech is a spin-off from Oslo University. Uh, we are developing drugs that is supposed to fight antibiotic resistance. Mm -hmm. And uh, could you give us a overview of your pipeline? Uh, our lead candidate, APC148, is uh, completing now the initial preclinical program and planning for uh, phase one here in Sweden early next year. Mm -hmm. um, what does what does the market look like for, for Agitech's uh, potential products? Our products are targeting the high-end market in hospitals. That means treating uh, patients with complicated infections mm -hmm. Uh, with a high risk of uh, antibiotic resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a product that combines antibiotics with enzyme inhibitors. These enzyme inhibitors are there to protect the antibiotic. Mm -hmm. So we are targeting uh, 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 patients with complicated infections that are to be treated with intravenous uh, drugs. Mm -hmm. Do you see more potential in some countries than other countries? Uh, or is it kind of standard everywhere? Well, it's an interesting question because obviously uh, the, the, the money is in the countries in, uh, where, where typically Europe and the US. However, the big majority of patients suffering from antibiotic resistance you will find in low and middle income countries, mm -hmm. typically like India, uh, even China, Africa and South America. Mm -hmm. So uh, you may say there's a large need, medical need in these countries. However, uh, the, 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 the money is rather in, in Western uh, type of countries. Mm -hmm. um, so how would your, looking into the future a little bit, how, how would your products change the current market? Well, uh, as antibiotic resistance has been around, uh, there has been a shift in the way that bacteria defend themselves. Mm -hmm. So bacteria typically they produce these enzymes to, to destroy antibiotics. Uh, we have products in the market that is taking care of some of the, with some of these enzymes. However, there are all other enzymes that are not really being treated effectively. So those enzymes are the, our target. So we are making a product that can deal with both these type of enzymes, making it a broad spectrum uh, enzyme inhibitor product. Mm -hmm. And that will be uh, very useful for uh, pharma companies, for us to market uh, where, where there is definitely a need for such products. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, looking a, a little bit into the future, uh, what are some of the milestones that you're most looking forward to in the coming months? Well, as I said, we are preparing for phase one. Uh, we have a large phase one program to uh, move into. Uh, we are applying in December, so with the help of Swedish authorities, mm -hmm. we'll get the approval and run that phase one program over two years' time. At that a very important value inflection point. We will have efficacy data from our preclinical testing. And together with the safety data from the phase one program, I think we are in a very good position to strike a deal with pharma companies. Mm -hmm. well, very good. Uh, very exciting. And uh, we definitely look forward to continue following Agitech along the way. And uh, thank you so much for joining us for this event today. Pleased to be here again, as I said. And uh, I'm sure we will see you later.